Uh, my name is Anthony Bluebello. I've been involved with SSDM since 2010. My cousin Anthony actually got me involved when he was doing his senior year and he asked me to come on and it was been nothing but positive experience from then on and emotional escape from you know locking up memories and kind of not thinking about things so it's been nothing but great really changes things so I'm here for him and I'll dance for him until the night goes on well my family's story kind of started with my brother he got diagnosed in uh, November of 97 lived for about a year but what mainly got us through that was a lot of organizations just like Thon but back then we had Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, we had Eggleston uh, was the host local hospital helping us out. I mean, a lot of just group organizations, people like yourself. And if it wasn't for those people getting us kind of out of our just daily activities, which was four days of chemo, three days sitting at home, four more days of chemo, three days sitting at home, I mean, we would have been nerve-wracked. I mean, my parents were already pretty distraught as it was, and I was kind of on the sidelines with my hands tied. There's nothing I could do. He couldn't even play basketball. I mean, the leukemia and the chemotherapy, it just, I mean, he was done. The three days he was at home, he was sleeping. But, I mean, he had a, a long battle. It lasted a year, and the crazy part about it is it started as a tumor on his arm, ended up getting cleared literally Halloween. We got dressed after he came home from the hospital, and he got cleared. And next thing you know, 11 days later, he doesn't feel good. He's throwing up. My mom takes us to the hospital. He literally comes collapses in the car and never came back and I uh, I, sh I showed up to the hospital and everybody was there and it was just thank God for those people <laughs> all those people that were there I mean the list could go on and on and hopefully everybody that was there knows that I'm talking directly to them because there were so many so many I, I mean the list could go on and on and even today the names add up and pile up because even People in my today life still helps me out with stuff from the past. Uh, 24 was the song we picked for my slideshow movie, and it was uh, a little bit of a coincidence. Justin Connolly sent me a list of songs that he wanted to play, and that just happened to be on that list, and coincidentally, it was a song that uh, was played at my dad's uh, funeral. And uh, it, it meant a lot, and it definitely <laughs> brought some emotion but uh it was a good song and I mean for him to send me that and us to actually have something that close just connect out of the blue I was like yeah, that's gotta be the song but yeah, it was a good song I'd let, like to let every participant know that their efforts, whether small or big, are helpful in so many ways that can't even be counted. From canning to talking to me to recording to the people that are doing the editing that never even get to talk to anybody. I mean, to put it all together for one big night, one big show, year round, or just to help out for five minutes is a huge effort. and especially at your age. I mean, people that are below 18 that haven't really seen a lot of death, haven't had to go through the emotional roller coaster that most people, you know, in their 30s, 40s, 50s are actually going through watching their children get diagnosed, watching their parents pass away at earlier ages than they should. I mean, it's 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 a terrible thing and it, it'll rip your heart out and throw it on the ground and spit right back out at you. I guess if I had a, uh, I guess if I had a message to send out to all the youth, is to know that no matter what baggage you are carrying, you do not know what the next person to you is carrying. And as they say, don't judge a book by its cover. It's tried and true, because you don't know what they're carrying, and they don't know what you're carrying. So, make this world a better world by being a better you, and living up to what you want to be because you only have one name in this entire world and you ruin your name it's ruined forever 
And not that first impressions are worth much, because it doesn't matter what people really think as long as you can sleep at night. But keep in mind that everything happens for a reason, and try to look forward. And that's what I do. I mean, I um, had a lot of try, a lot of bad things happen, but I look at my kids now, and I could die a happy man tomorrow as long as they're happy, as long as they're smiling. It does not matter what happens this day forward, as long as they're smiling. That's all that matters. So my message is just to stay positive and keep going, keep trucking along, keep dancing for those that you think deserve the time that you put in. I just want to thank the fact that I, I feel like, I don't know, some of my jokes, they're the only ones that get, <laughs> you know, I'll be like, you know, because some of the kids will like look at you and you're like, you, you're not getting the reaction that you were thinking you were going to get. So you're like, teachers, you know what I'm talking about. And they're like, and they start clapping in the yeah. back because they're like, they understand. But, they got you know, to take a nap. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> True that. I would like to personally thank all the faculty and committee for keeping this organization going and orchestrating all of this because I know from you know, taking time away from your math class to, you know, taking time from everything else. It's, it's a lot of work. So thank you again and congratulations on everything that you've put forth. And my last question for everybody here is who do you dance for? Thanks.